There's a rumor going round and round and round. Rumor has it. Um. All the rumors are true, yeah. Marriage is first sight of is life. Better. And so is Gossip Gugu, and I am here with a reality replay. That's a recap of Mavs in Nashville. And in case you missed it, I got you. Who will be the next five couples just like our couples their the journey to find our Nashville love. singles? In the first episode of Married at First Sight Nashville, we were introduced to the 10 strangers, I mean, hopefuls. Who and there are difficult decisions. what we call experts, but the experts aren't really experts, so it's whatever, right? No. Nevertheless, we're going to see if we can find some people here who can possibly find the love of their life. And so how it works is that these hopefuls will meet and marry a stranger who will become their spouse and after 8 weeks of marriage, the couples will decide if they have a strong enough connection to continue with their relationship or call it quits if they just don't get along. Want a divorce. Is divorce. One thing about the US version of Mavs is that it drags, unlike the Australia or the UK version. So what I've done, because I don't have centuries, millennials, all of that time to waste, I've combined the premiere episode, casting special together with the matchmaking episode into one recap. So let's replay, shall we? I'm a nervous wreck. What if it does go right? What if it does go wrong? Married at First Sight Nashville kicked off and we were introduced to the 10 hopefuls and then we met this season's 5 couples and they are Jasmine and Eris, Nicole and Chris, Kristen and Shaquille, and Dominica and Kingley as well as Tina and Clint. Now 39 year old Eris feels like he's ready to plant roots with someone special and 31 year old Jasmine has never felt lucky when it comes to dating. Now maybe Eris needs to focus on planting seeds of kindness with Jasmine and the bear might blossom. Bro, I want someone who wants a family and values family. Someone who's strong in their faith because I'm a preacher's kid. Next up is Nashville newbie Christopher who is 36 years old and is paired up with Nicole who's 32 and they both feel like the experts can help them find love in this hopeless place. <laughs> I mean, in this unique process. She's a very compassionate person. She wants to love someone. She doesn't want to be hurt anymore. I think we need to figure some things out. Um, are you breathing well? Are you eating well? Are you okay daily? Speaking and about not being okay, 34-year-old McKinley admits to struggling to trust women due to his previous relationships and he is partnered up with the youngest cast member, Dominica, who's only 25 years old, who hasn't had much experience with long-term relationships. Now, is this a recipe for disaster? Let me know in the comment section below. But I believe it is. And if you remember Maths UK, remember Lauren and the guitar guy, forgot his name. I'll insert a clip here. It was definitely a recipe for disaster. Well, she's looking for a grown up, mm -hmm. but she's like somebody who's got a sense of humor. She's a big athlete. She's very family oriented. Meanwhile, the oldest cast member Clint at 40 years old and 35 year old Gina both have complete faith in the Maths process. Um. Okay. Um, anyway. Now both Clint and Gina are ready to start a family. Now that I can lean into and I can appreciate that. When I've been with someone in the past, I've definitely had those thoughts of like, okay, I could definitely start a family with this person. Introducing the last couple, Shaquille and Kirsten, with Shaq, who is 31 years old and has taken the last few years to work on himself in therapy. And a bonus, we love a man that goes to therapy, honey. Now, Shaquille is coupled up with 32-year-old Kirsten, who believes her success intimidates men, thus affecting her dating life. I want him to have a positive mindset, be ambitious, I mean, because I'm all of that. Next, the hopefuls tell their friends and families they are getting married to a stranger and this drags as well as them shopping for their wedding attires. We could have seen a group montage of this instead of the whole shebang because it is lame and it is boring. Boring! However, I am here for the group meetup as well as the bachelor and bachelorette party and I wish I could have seen a full wedding day but we didn't. Come on now, dog. Come on, man. This is not something that you have to do. We can walk up out of here right now. I promise you, look, I went through the same thing. I promise you, 
it's safe. Now, it's time to break the news to their family and friends. The first couple is Kirsten and Shaquille. Kirsten admits she's been picky about men in her past. I don't give everybody a chance. Luckily for her, she's stuck with the choice the experts have made for her and her mom is hopeful she'll find love through this experience. Open up my heart and my mind to allow something good to happen. Now her future husband Shaquille tells his friends and family every single step has led him to this point. Every single step is this opportunity. I'm Dominique got her family and friends approval over her upcoming nuptials and so did her future husband McKinley. I want her to be happy and I and I hope you know I want a long lasting Well you already marriage. want you want her to be happy. It is sad and quite unfortunate for Nicole that she didn't get the support she wanted from her friends. However, the love that she has for her dog aligns with her future husband Christopher who has a couple of pups of his own and is ready to make Nicole the first woman he lives with. Hoping that, you know, I can find someone who's similar as me, who's nice, a giver, caring. As for Eris, his cousin doesn't believe he's ready for marriage. Like. You're planning to do this for the rest of your life. His desire to find his person outweighs his cousin's concern, but Jasmine's desire to find a committed husband could prove to be a humongous problem if Eris's cousin doesn't believe that Eris is capable of being committed. Eris should walk away now. I just don't personally think that he's ready for um, everything that comes with the marriage. Lastly, Gina's mom and friend were excited about her wedding news. Meanwhile, Clint's friends were surprised but still supportive of his upcoming marriage. What? <laughs> Mini Top Gun. <laughs> At the respective introduction parties, we learned that Shaquille and Kirsten are shallow. Boy, a 10 out of 10. Oh, I mean, Let's reel it back. We established how important looks are to them. Honestly, hoping that he's handsome. Um, McKinley is willing to be put out of his comfort zone. And now McKinley, Shaquille, and Kirsten are all ready to settle down and have kids. Speaking of kids, let's say practicing to make kids. Nicole is ready for her honeymoon, but her future husband has been celebrating for a year which shocks errors. Other guy who's who ain't got it in in a year, I'ma call him 40 year old virgin. Yo, it's not funny. It's really not funny. <laughs> you tight? You're ready for the honeymoon. I'm, I'm ready. <laughs> Nicole's having sex first night for sure. As for Eris, he revealed that he has had sex as recent as two weeks ago and my question is, does his situationship know that he has signed up for MAPS? And I'm starting to believe his cousins a hundred percent because this guy is not ready for love, he is not there for the right reasons, he ain't it. Two weeks. Do me a favor please, get out of here. Get out right, right here, man! Same, same boat, so I don't feel so bad. I'm glad you went first. Yeah. Clap if you care. All right, let's move on. So it was it was very surprising to hear that two of the guys had sex two weeks as little as two weeks ago when they found out. Eight days before the wedding and the hopefuls are shopping for the wedding attires and at their last night of freedom, also known as their bachelor and bachelorette party, Dominica was a little bit, let's rather say, a lot of bit. She was overly flirty y'all with the entertainers which had the bride concerned for a moment or two. Nominate anyone for spending too much time with the strippers, it would probably be myself. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the bachelor party, Chris conveyed he is ready to fall in love and his partner Nicole conveyed that making the marriage work is the only possible option and outcome. I will chain him to the chair and say, you stay here on decision day, I'm gonna say you're sick and you said you want to stay married. The wedding day preparations began with Shaquille and Kirsten with Shaq getting emotional during a conversation with his buddies. And later, his grandmother gave him a big hug before he eventually walked down the aisle to meet his future bride. Unfortunately for Shaq, he didn't leave a lasting first impression on Kirsten because she said she'll give the side kiss if he ain't it and my man's ain't it. If he's a known like... Yikes! Yikes, <laughs> Or I just may have him kiss me on the cheek. Hey you, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.